Buenos, buenos días, amigos. <laughs> buenos días, amigos. Welcome, everyone. Today we gonna review for four meats from Spain. Uh, small uh, craft midri. Yeah. Uh, so small that we got four meats, but only one is on s official sale. Rest uh, we've been asked to do it to review. Yeah, but uh, you can actually you, you can, can you can buy, buy it. at least not, or, not not yet. Yeah, or at least you're very good friend of meat makers, and then they can give you our sale. You wanna you wanna find out how they make meat? Watch. Midri called Grender. Grendel. Or is it actually in English Grendel or Drender? No, I think Grendel. 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 The actually, it is Grendel. We just had this conversation, which is so bizarre. Uh, I literally had a bit of a fight in our household because my daughter had to like draw a Grendel for her like class at school. So hopefully you don't it, Paulina. <laughs> right? That is watching you. <laughs> <laughs> a nice bottle. They're all in the same design. Uh, small, tiny hydromel. Uh, let's say something about what's inside. Honey, honey, uh, uh, water, water, cinnamon, cinnamon, and then there's an orange and lemon zest, zest vanilla, uh, and then cloves and uh, ginger. And also one thing we know, they use something special as a nutrient for the for the meat, which is pollen. Yeah, they use pollen. They use pollen. Where's this honey from? I think it's, it says it's from the it's region of uh, El Elbierzo. Elbierzo. It's like north. Uh, it's northwest of yeah. Spain, just above the Portugal uh, border. So that sh show us how crafty they are. They uh, even they said w which part of Spain they get it, yeah. honey. Yeah. Uh, they didn't so. say they didn't tell us what kind of honey, but we believe is multiflora yeah. honey. We'll see. Twelve and a half percent of alcohol. Uh, it's uh, I believe it's still so it should yeah. be counted in it. You got con uh, used before, uh, which is I believe is the law in Spain. You have to put it because in some countries you don't have to put it that. Uh, Okay, let's, let's try. try. Instead, they, uh, they got label and they got small explanation about Grendel. Yeah, but it's in it's Spanish. Spain, <laughs> Spanish, so... Well, yeah, whatever. I'm not as good. Everybody knows that Grendel is a monster in the Viking world. Yeah. And if you didn't know, you know now. Obviously, first we can see that's the color. Color is light, light yellow, light straw, straw, yeah. and it's either is a bit of oxidated or is a bit of a sediment. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. It is clear, but but it is something. It's something in it. So small, real tiny, but definitely not like. No, no, it's it's, it's, it's yeah, it's not cloudy or anything like that. No, it's but you definitely can see little, not hundred percent clear. No, but you can't see a little small particles of. Uh, of sediment and the legs they are appearing but they disappearing quite quickly looks very light but it's 12 and a half percent so it's we'll proper see. like okay nose nose it's not it's not yeah um, I think all these these herbs are coming at the the very top of the of the aroma, so obviously you like cinnamon, vanilla, a little bit of vanilla, cinnamon. Yes, I'm actually and struggling to find a honey note. Yeah, it's not much here. The herbs go on the first. They, they uh, sort of overpower the, the aroma. Yeah, uh, I don't smell that much of the of the zest. You know, I, I, I want to say that I smell zest. Do you citrus? Yeah, yeah. Not this, it's not the citrus, it's like bitterness yeah. from the, uh, the, the orange zest. 
I know there's a cloth in ginger. The ginger, I don't really recognize ginger in it. Quite earthy as well. Uh, which is probably would go from yeast or from cinnamon. Okay, let's have a taste. Yeah, that's it. See that citrusy you mentioned on the nose, which I didn't quite get. I don't taste it. It's not. It's not very acidity. Acid, yeah, acidity. It's more bitter. The bitterness and the sweetness. There's sort of a. But this is bitterness from orange zest. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree with that. Um, a little bit of vanilla. Vanilla is even. It's actually probably too much of a vanilla. It is a little bit overpower. Uh, or if someone like the vanilla. Yeah, but uh, and again, it's uh, on the balance side. Uh, it's a good balance between sweetness and bitterness, in my opinion. Yes, and acidity as well. Uh, but the balance between honey notes and a, uh, I did it and uh, you know the, the the herbal additions. I think the additions are overpowering a little bit on ingredients. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. The honey notes disappear. The uh, cinnamon, vanilla. No orange zest, zest on the first. Uh, I wouldn't say they overpower, but uh, are a little bit all over the top of the yeah. uh, honey. And note. it's very sharp on the tongue as well, which is probably because of this bitterness from from the zest. Um, very flat. Yeah, not so much alcoholic, so you could probably. It's easy, easy drinking. Yeah. It's really easy drinking. Uh, but can you imagine? Yeah, Spain, hot country. Uh, what kind of drink you will expect? Yeah, well, well, exactly. I mean, I would totally get that. Probably chilled with a, you know, maybe maybe ice, maybe a slice of a yeah, slice of a lemon or something. Yeah, water. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe dilute a little bit. That's sometimes uh, maybe not when you judge the meat because it's different on a competition. But when you think about meat, think about where it's from. Yeah, and it's probably been made for a for a specific market. Yeah, so for the, also for taste on that country, uh, it's gonna be different kind of honey uh, meat from Costa Rica, Spain, Italy, Thailand, and different gonna be from East Poland, Lithuania, or even more forward on the north, yeah, Norway, uh, Iceland. <laughs> they're gonna expect more something more heavy, more which is warm up. In hot country, you expect something light, yeah, and gonna... that's it. Yes, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's uh, I, I, well, it's 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 not excellent, but it's really decent meat. Yes, it's not excellent, but it's it's a good meat. It's good meat. Yeah. So if you're in Spain and you see that yeah. one, or if you want to buy, we should get some links somewhere uh, there or under the movie as well. Uh, and what we're gonna try another free we go quite quick with them because like we said they not uh, they're not on sale they're not yet, on the so. sale okay yeah we're back so we'll try another one another one Grendel it doesn't have a name it have a, doesn't have a name we got got a number well I'll tell you what right I'm gonna read the ingredients because it's quite uh, lots it's quite a somewhere. quite a large list. Um, so this one is a mellow mill. It's been matured in the oak barrels for 28 days. And the ingredients are raw honey from the region of Extremadura, which we just checked. It's just like north from the Seville. Yeah. Uh, so it's like sort of like a western western Spain, Spain. just on the Portuguese border. Uh, and the rest of the ingredients, uh, it's an, with an infusion of apple, hibiscus, wild rose, strawberry, blackberry leaves, black currant. Blackberries and red currants. So yeah, pretty much all the all the berries Not there are, are in it. Oh, apples as well. Uh, yes, apple as well. So I was just been proven wrong because I said if I had to pick the color, I said it was going to be red. Uh, it's actually it's more like an orange orange yeah, yeah it's like ginger <laughs> and not quite clear again yes uh, quite to cloudy. be honest that it's cloudy, cloudy but yeah. this one see I, I don't see those particles like in the first one 
right? It's um, yes, it is quite cloudy. But but it's cloudy. Well, maybe it comes from the apples. Don't know. Should uh, shouldn't come in. <laughs> well, anyway, what what legs? Mm. Looks like more like actually that one te have ten, uh, ten, ten, ten and a half, ten, ten and a half percent. So, so it's lighter. Say lighter. Uh, it's legs very poor, small legs. Yeah, actually, not much. It's also it's also still so. Yeah. Surprising, not much aroma. Uh, no, but I would say probably apples. <laughs> and actually later on, try to look for the, for those berries. I wouldn't say exactly which one is it. Was it come from the red currants or strawberries? Perhaps strawberries. <sighs> Definitely not a honey note. There's no honey no, notes. It's quite poor on the aroma. Uh, well, fruity, yeah, fruity, fruity. It's, it's poor I, on a on a, on a honey aroma, but uh, as I said, you you've got these, you know. No, uh, no, I, I, I personally still think it's it is aroma, but it's poor aroma. You have to dig, take very big sniff. You you smell yeah. apple. I'm not uh, for me. Apple is the is, is on the top, to be honest. No, for me, the fruit all fruits, unfortunately, uh, cannot recognize any of them. You would probably guess it's some sort of berries, but you wouldn't like guess exactly what is it. Yes, that yeah, you could, you could, but it's guessing. It's guessing. It. You wouldn't say it's like a stone fruit, definitely yeah. not. Yeah. But uh, right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's give it a go. It, yeah. Very very fruity. Yeah. Yes, you can. It's lots of happen, lots of it's fruits on the taste, but on the end, what's the fruit is on the end? Strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah. It's very strong on the strawberry. Obviously, I know we, we know there's a lot of different berries and apples, but um, I would say strawberry is the one which you can probably taste at the end. However, when you're drinking it, it is it is sweet. Don't even know it's it's, it's quite sweet. It's um, also acidy for the fruits. Yeah, and then also a bit of a bitterness and sharpness coming through. But more sweet, more sweet. Yeah, that, that's ba balance here is a little bit on the sweet side, to be honest. And again, you can taste a little bit, uh, not even honey notes, but you can taste that sweetness come from the honey. Yeah, like it's like you a, can recognize yeah, what honey been. is, but and then it's fruit, but strawberry bit of a, yeah. after after taste. A bit of apple. When you're drinking mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. strawberry and different berries. And but some I see it from the some kind of berries as well. Again, if it was like chilled, maybe slightly, maybe diluted with water. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty so, uh, Grendel, if you're not selling this meat yet, I think you should. Uh, Only one thing should work on a sedimentation. It's yeah, should yeah, be or clarity. Clarity. It's uh, well. Yes, definitely. Average, have to, yeah. Yeah, you have to work on that, but. Taste, it's quite good. Actually, better than uh, good. than aroma. It's, right. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's try next one. Okay, Grenzo number three. Uh, Let me just have a quick. Yeah, again, the one what you not you can buy. Uh, so show. this one is the uh, what the guy says more experimental meat. Um, still with tea from Japan, matcha, matcha tea uh, and the raw honey from the same, same region which is extra madura um, well, 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 we'll see uh, what do we know about this tea? it's some sort of a green tea um, which, which like boosts your concentration and things like that so it's probably one of those superfoods so it's actually just tea, green tea yeah, and, yeah, and, uh, honey and, and honey, yeah it doesn't, doesn't mention any other ingredients so and pollen as a nutrition First of all, this one, compared to the previous two, this one is really clear. Yeah. So there's no problem with the, any sediment, anything like that. And obviously the color, it's nice, like amber color. 
Umber, orange, yeah. and something like that. And but it's definitely clear. Yeah. Yes, and you can see actually quite a nice legs. They disappear quite quickly, but they're quite visible. What's the so percentage of alcohol in this one? That's uh, 8.5. So the 8 .5. lowest one. Right? So it's quite well appearance, so quite good. <laughs> now I don't want to be too critical, but it's it's quite poor on aroma. Yeah, I think not, not much at all. It's you can't really smell the honey notes. I'm I'm unfortunate. I don't know how how the, the this matcha tea smells like, but. Actually, if it gives a little, well, it, it, it's something there, but it's just, it's not very distinctive, so... No, I always said what you, what you can smell is the honey, honey notes, but... Very, it, it very, very, very little. Somewhere behind, uh, I'll, somewhere I'll, foggy, far away. I'll, I'll, honestly, uh, if, if I didn't know it's mead... I'm not sure I would, yeah, I would no, guess, no, no. you know, in a blind test, I don't, I'm not sure I would guess. So on my Roma note, well, it's, it's, it is what it is, we'll see. We'll but see it's 8.5% like. uh, yeah, so, so it's, it's not a, probably not much honey, so it's more like, like session, uh, yeah. something like nearly like session. Uh, yeah, well, let's try it. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Slight, slightly sour. Yeah, it's quite it's slight acidity, but yeah, quite acidity. Yeah, but it's, but it's in, in it a good some, way. Yeah, it's but it's not also something on the back, which is I which probably is the tea. Is the tea. Which do you know where it's like it stays? Actually, it stays on the on the aftertaste now. It's hmm. But it's not tannin one. You know, it's not like like a black tea. Or yeah, whatever. it's good. Actually, it's quite pleasant to drink. I'm, 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 I'm actually surprised. It's really, really good. Flora, a little bit earthy. You know, a good tea. But it's actually, it's very sweet as well. The finish is sweet. The first finish. Finishing, it's very sour, as, sour and acidy, mm -hmm. but later on comes sweetness. With that kind of tea flavor, or whatever it's, it is, it's I I really don't know how this tea tastes. Yeah, but, uh, but it is something what I don't recognize, and I believe is that the, that, that's the flavor yeah, of the tea. I mean, it. I think the guy says in an in email says I expect I expect it, and you know what. I didn't expect that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, okay, so we go very quick. Uh, the last one. Last one. This is a show meat with no adi additions, and the raw honey comes from Guadalajara, which uh, we checked. It's just like an outskirt of Madrid, so sort of a central Spain. Central Spain. is obviously a bit lighter than the previous one it's more very yellow, yellow uh, slight yellow, yellow but again so, not quite clear not quite clear so from them three it's only only the, the t1 which is uh, which was really clear that the old yeah. three weren't and the official cool. one was it, it was it was all right yeah it was all right it was it had a bit of a but them two was cloudy and that was cloudy too uh, yeah, not that cloudy just obviously not that clear out see and um, what was that? Ten percent alcohol. Uh, yes, ten percent. But still, and the legs. Not much of legs. Not much of the legs. So maybe not going to be too sweet. We'll see. We we'll see. Let's have a sniff. Like with previous one, not much happened. A little bit apples, apple yeah. aroma. A little bit of a honey notes, but not 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 very you know they're not coming through that you know that well a little bit of alcohol as well tiny little bit general generally generally the, the, the aroma is aroma. aroma yeah 
That's how it tastes. Huh. It's not what I expected. To be honest, after sniffing it, I thought it was going to be a bit more sour, a bit more acidic, but that, this one's actually quite well it's quite, it's quite sweet. But not too sweet. You've got a bit of a bitterness coming coming through, which, yeah, you're right, it's, uh, it's balancing the sweetness quite well. Yeah, actually, um, uh, well, I wait with... Mm. It is a little bit of bitterness on the end, like... And you've got those honey notes and the taste. Yes, you, you, you actually taste honey yeah. in here. Uh, it comes something which is like... Like tannins. Ta which ta are tannin one, yeah, in your mouth. It's dry in sort of a, yeah. Dry, but also sweetness cover that. Well balanced. Uh, Multiflora, you can I recognize yeah. any honey. It's, it is taste of honey up there, but it's again... Uh, just quite light, easy um, drinking. It is, yeah, but this bitterness actually, it's, it's coming it's coming through, the more you're drinking it, the bitterness is coming through more and more. But it's, it's somehow nice. To be honest, yeah. from all them four, what we tried today, that's my favorite one. But again, you know, a bit of a problem with clarity, so maybe this is something, you know, you guys should, should work on. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, good. Very good, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. okay. Uh, that was kings of meat with Spanish Spanish meats. Grendel. Grendel. Uh, they call it. Uh, they call themselves gypsy meat already gypsy, because gypsy they meat. don't have real meat. Uh, like place when they make meat, they still travel. They brew meat in different location and different meaderies, different breweries. So I hope so you get the base and you will do it yeah. better yeah. because yeah. it's still some it's still a way to progress it uh, is obviously the, the you know the, the room to improve but you got a you know quite a you know quite a good couple at least couple of you know meets here so it's it's a great base uh, if you want a more review you know you want a better better judgment on it I would say get yourself to Poznan on the 15th and 16th of November uh, on a meet, uh, European Meat Makers Second Conference. Second Meat Makers in Poznan. Uh, it's, it's a great place to for all meat makers, meat lovers, meat passionates, meat freaks. Uh, they all gonna be there. They gonna share their meats. They gonna share experience. Last year we got lots of people. This year we looks looks like we're gonna get even more. more. Uh, a few guests from United States coming. Uh, it's not one day, it's two days this year. First day it's gonna be only training session for future uh, meat judges. So if you'd like to be meat judge, come on the 15th. Yep. Meat judging program in Europe start. Uh, and it's, and it's great fun. It's great fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's great for networking, for making connections. Uh, last year we've seen few people which would sort of a, you know take it to the next level and they made some sort of like a business enterprise with the with the with the other people so yeah it's it's a, it's a definitely you know we look, great place to be. we look forward to yeah, absolutely. Be there. and if you meet makers you need to be there and if you home meat maker don't forget about meat uh, meat madness cup uh, 15th of november as well but if you want more details have a look on our website kings of meat or a few links below about conference and link about uh, competition as well and you're gonna find much more up there probably some pictures from the last one as well that's it for today thank yeah. you very much see you next Cheers, time salute salute